Shalom family, so in this video, I want to share the different storage options that you have for storing your seeds, as well as my three favorite seed companies. So first, I want to start with the storage. If you have lots of seeds, which probably most people have a problem with collecting so many different seeds, these are different ways that I organize them. First, I like to use this brochure holder, and I like it just because, you know, you can kind of see and get to them quickly. They're all kind of open and um, you can organize them and hold a lot and it is a pretty cheap option i do like that it stands i actually store this in a big cabinet in my living room and so it is closed and it is cool so it's dark and cool just like the seeds like it the other storage mechanism that i have is this and this is pretty much like a stainless steel kind of metal storage container which has lots of different seeds again and you can organize them and i have even some that are in little baggies some that people share with me um, others that you can collect in that way you can actually lock this as well if that's what you want to do and so this is another great option and both of them were very cost efficient the last thing is if you are gathering seeds from your garden and you have an abundance of them, you can use some of your spice containers. You can actually write on the label what it is and the, the year that you're collecting them. And you, of course, you have some that are smaller, some are bigger. And so you can kind of choose based on how many seeds that you have. And that's just another way to store things without actually having to purchase anything. All right, so let's get into those three favorite seed companies. It's not in any particular order, and these are not the only companies that I purchased from, but these are, I would say, my favorites and the ones that I purchased for from more often, more recently. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is actually Baker Creek. And so first off, this is the packaging that I just got on uh, my latest order, and it's really beautiful. They also have a YouTube channel where you can actually see um, how the plants are grown and tell you a little bit of the history and stories behind it. And so I just like to be able to support a company like this. And depending on where you live, local and small business, family owned, um, that has, you know, maybe the same ideal. And so they also have a free seed catalog. Well, I've always gotten it free. I don't know if it's still free, but you can check it out. They grow a large variety of different plants. They also have live plants that they sell sometimes of the year. Really fast shipping. The other thing that I really love is that it is free shipping on all the seed orders. So they may cost a little bit more, usually about $3 or so. But you also get a free seed packet. So that's always something nice, a nice surprise. All right, so what I got was first burdock. This is Articum lava. It's a very large three to four feet root for the burdock, so we're gonna try that. I also got this variety of chamomile, and this is actually a Polish variety. I got this because it is supposed to be, have um, lots and lots of flowers. This is an annual though. The other thing is they do tell you about how many seeds, so this one has a minimum of 300 seeds in here. The burdock has 150 minimum. And I want to see how much I paid as well. So when you actually go to order from them, it's rareseeds.com. I'm not sure why the different Baker Creek and the rare seeds, um, but that's what it is. I paid $3 for the burdock, $4 for my chamomile. And then I also have this artichoke for $3 that I paid for as well. And this is Green Globe. And I'm getting much more into perennials. I really want my garden to be really easy and just kind of flourishing on its own without needing my help because I find when it gets 100 degrees 90 degrees even here really don't want to be out in the garden maintaining and doing all these different things and so I am really enjoying perennials and so this will be a new perennial that I hope to introduce and then the, my free seeds this was an Astro Blend Matsumoto formula mixed uh, usually I got a lot of, when I was getting the free seeds, a lot of times it was like different kales or greens. And this one's a flower, so that's interesting. And it does look really beautiful. That might be something nice, a nice addition to add amongst the different plants. That's the first company. The second company is actually one that was introduced to me because um, a friend shared them with me. So thank you, Madeline, from Small Seeds. And so... I purchased more for them. The thing that I really love is that you can actually see photos of all of these plants 
on their website. And so, you know, when they're talking about a variety and saying, oh, it really is productive and different things like that, I want to see what the real plants look like to actually see what it might look like in my garden. If they're saying it's a container or small, you know, small space, I want to see what it looks like so that I can envision it in my own garden. So that's what I really love. Um, so some of the seeds I have for them is Pot of Gold. This is a Swiss chard. That's yellow or orange. And then we have California Poppy, which is doing wonderful. I got a lot of different poppy varieties. I, oh, California Poppy, the leaves taste really good in salad. You can pretty much substitute it for arugula. It's really good. I have the Spanish Lavender. This is Purple Ribbons. I have another chamomile, which I am actually, I do have a plant or two that I started indoors. And this is the Boda Gold. And this is another annual, I want to say as well. I was under the impression that all like chamomiles were perennials and not so. And then I also have this California Spicy Greens. This is actually what was shared with me and what I really, really loved. The greens are really wonderful and it's a blend of different like mustards and different things like that. Arugula, Mizuna, Dijon flavored red mustard and nutty tasting French curly endive. Really delicious. All right. So that was the second company. And then the third is one called Everwild Farm. So what I love about them is they actually have a nice seal so that you can make sure no air or anything is getting inside. Also, you can make sure no seeds are going to come out because sometimes some of the seeds that will come out on the bottom of some of these, especially things like chamomile, really small seeds. So I love this. It also lets you know the germination rate that you can expect on the back of each of the seed packets. And so I have 85% on this giant Italian parsley, 85% on this California Wonder 300 sweet pepper, and then 98% on this rock rocket arugula, which is really good. And I have grown it. Um, they have really good germination rates. You will expect the germination that it says on the packet or more is usually what I get. And then I love that they just have a little scripture on the back as well. So this company is from Wisconsin. And so if you grow, if you are in a zone that's cooler, if you are up north, you may want to buy from companies that are also up north. A lot of the, the companies that do tend to be up north. But the cool thing about this is like I tried um, a watermelon that was for cooler temperatures and it was supposed to prolong the shelf life once it started getting a little bit cooler down to maybe like 40 or 50. And so I wanted that just to give me a little bit more time. We have a pretty good growing um, season, but I wanted to make sure just in case if I plant a little bit late that we will be able to have those last watermelons ripen on the vine. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite seed companies down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.